What's up guys, this is Sam, and with the iPhone 10, we got one of the biggest iPhone upgrades in years, and alongside that comes new gestures, new features, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. In this video, I want to focus on taking screenshots, killing apps, and rebooting the phone, because these are three things that did change that you're probably going to end up doing on a daily or weekly basis that are just a little bit different now. First up, let's talk about screenshots. On every other iOS device ever, you click the lock slash power button and the home button in for just a second to take a screen cap of whatever is on your display. On the iPhone 10, you hold the power slash lock button and the volume up button. I thought at first I tried to take a screenshot by holding the power and lock button and then tapping that bar at the bottom of the iPhone 10 screen, but that does not do anything that just locks the phone. If you want to take a screenshot, you click the power slash lock button on the right side and the volume up button on the left side, and you can take a screenshot of whatever's on the screen. Next up, because of the new fluid motion system present on iOS 11 on the iPhone 10, swiping up to kill apps in the app switcher is no longer the way to do that. In fact, if you try to do it like I instinctually did because that's what we've been programmed to do since iOS 6 or iOS 7 is swipe up when you want to kill an app, it just takes you back to the home screen or a different page on your phone, not really what you want to do if you want to remove an app from that area or make it stop running. So what you do on the iPhone 10 is you tap and hold on your app cards and then in the top left hand corner of all of these, you'll get a small minus button. Now even in 2017, there is no way to kill all of these at once, Apple still makes you clear them out manually. Manually. There is hope that maybe at some point in the future in iOS 12, 13, 14, or 15, we'll see the ability to kill all of our apps at the same time, or at least remove all of them at the same time from this multitasking area, but the iPhone 10 is not that device, and 2017 is not that year. Another really big change on the iPhone 10 is how you force reboot the device. The process here is actually the same as it is now on the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus, so if you want to force reboot those devices, the process is identical, and it's really strange, before you would press and hold the power power and lock button and the home button for about 10-11 seconds till the screen went off and continue holding until you saw the Apple logo pop up to completely reboot the device and do a mini reset, but of course you wouldn't lose any of your data. It's the same thing as restarting a computer rather than shutting it down and then powering it back on. This does everything in the same process and I feel like it also clears things out a little bit differently than just shutting something down and starting it back up. What you do is you press the volume up button, the volume down button, and then hold the lock button for 10 seconds in that order. So volume Volume up, volume down, keep holding the lock or side button for about 10 or 11 seconds. Eventually the screen will go off. When you see the Apple logo come back up after you see the black screen, then you can let go of the side button and the device will perform the reboot. It's weird how it's a three-step process. Volume up, volume down, side button for 10 seconds. Before it was so much easier just to hold the power or lock button and the home button for 10 seconds and you'd pretty much be good to go, but now it is slightly more complicated. Those are three things that I think are really important for everyone to know when it comes to using the iPhone 10. I didn't know how to do any of these until I searched for the internet, so hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, feel free to drop a like down below and of course share it with someone else. And if you want to see more videos on the iPhone 10 in the future, hit subscribe down below. I've been Sam, I hope you guys are doing great, and I'll talk to you in the next one.